download. Uh, right now, the entire file size is uh, 28 kilobytes uh, per 28 kilobytes, and at frame one, that's where we have um, all that action going on. You can see over here at uh, I guess frame 20, we're not adding adding anything else to the file. Okay, but again, you can click through here and kind of see uh, where your heavy stuff is at. And if you had, and if you ever create a file that's like you know megabytes uh, in size, the bandwidth profile is really um, nifty to look at and kind of see uh, where you're bringing in all that extra data. But uh, again, you have to be in this publish mode. You have to be testing the movie, and then you can go over here to your bandwidth profiler. And speaking of testing, let's go and actually click on my hobbies. I clicked on it, and you can see that the logo did sure enough disappear. If I were to go back over here to the bandwidth profiler, uh, it should have shown me jumping to, well, that's odd. I thought it was gonna show me jumping to frame uh, 10. Well, you can see actually as I scrub through here, the difference, but, you know, that could just be one of the many things that that uh, Flash has changed in recent years. You used to be able to see exactly where those jumps were occurring. Okay, so uh, let's go and get a, a little bit fancier, although possibly not as fancy as you would like at this point, uh, an hour into the tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do is, actually before we even mess with the action script, let's go and modify uh, each one of these slightly. I'm gonna go dive into the first one, portfolio here, and underneath the highlighted part, um, or the highlighted later, layer, I'm gonna hit F6 right here, and I'm just going to select this. It is selected, there we go, and let's uh, change it to a color so that uh, when you click down on it, or when you press down on it, you actually um, get to see that um, press down action occurring, okay? And let's go and do that for the other menus. And just to change things up a little bit. I don't know why you just saw that. That's weird. Huh. Well, maybe that was something I pasted in. Unbeknownst to me. Well, let's be a little bit more colorful than that. I'm just locking up that layer with the, uh, the text on it. Okay, and back over here, where all of our action script is, uh, we are gonna make a slight change to uh, the the two uh, buttons that um, do something when you click on them. We're gonna change these to mouse up, all right? And what that means is that your mouse actually has to be um, clicked down and then released over top of uh, the button for you to be able to uh, trigger it. And so it's also ever more important now that we ha we had those kind of uh, dummy highlights on frame one, uh, because if we just had text right there, that means your user uh, would have had to click down and up perfectly over top that uh, text data, which of course you can see, you know, you, your mouse might fall between between the you know the blank space and the O, and then that would keep it from uh, triggering the button. And that's something I see actually on a lot of people's websites is that, or a lot of new kind of Flash users that they they make that mistake where they don't actually give you that uh, kind of uh, hit area uh, to work within for triggering events. Uh, now that we have changed that, uh, we can go and basically copy out uh, all this good stuff and change it ever so slightly to put down mouse down and go to and stop three. Uh, I think we can paste that in because I do believe that you guys have seen enough of how uh, those, the, the basic stuff works like that. So we should at this point be able to publish and let's see, I did get an error. Uh, I've got an extra character somewhere, frame 33, that's right there. I accidentally pasted in too much. Okay, let's try that one more time. Let's get rid of seeing the bandwidth profiler. Okay, so now when I click down on this, I should, and I'm kind of holding down, clicking on it, I should be seeing uh, my hobbies and uh, that jump to that frame. So I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna click down on that. If I release outside, it won't actually trigger the browser window opening up. Uh, one thing you might wanna do though, now notice when I click down on this and then I release, right now it still stays at purple. Um, I should probably include in the up event that it, it goes back to um, uh, frame one. So here's a case where we could hard code in 
menu two dot go to and stop one and let's do the same thing for this guy right here um, although you know event dot target could also work there it's just that we don't really need to because we know specifically that this button is going to be attached uh, to this particular uh, mouse event. Okay, so uh, now let's give it a shot. So I'm going to click down on that, let go of it, and well, we didn't get to see it there because the browser window came in the way, but I, we'll do it with this one. So let go, and sure enough, it went back uh, over that way. And I guess also, too, it could go to frame two because considering you're still kind of hovering over it and that maybe makes a little bit more sense okay uh, go back over here to the timeline and what else are we gonna talk about okay let's go and double click on portfolio uh, right now this is just editable artwork that we're using it's uh, not something I prefer to do um, but We've already done it, so we can't undo it. But uh, the reason being is because you always have a chance of like maybe editing this somehow or like selecting something and then deleting it. And I tend to kind of make my selections in the program by selecting um, things. So um, yeah, there's always a chance it can get messed up. So let's go and uh, go over here to convert to symbol. Again, that's F8 is the nicer, faster way of getting to that. And we'll call this um, animated. Highlight. Okay, we can now um, double click inside of here, and of course we'll be working uh, inside of the layer um, with that highlight. And uh, we generally are not going to want to um, animate uh, editable artwork there. So <laughs> let's go one more time and convert it to a symbol. And uh, this time we'll call it. Um, I don't know. Highlight within animated highlight. Not a great name, I know. All right, um, we're gonna do a relatively simple animation here. I'm going to come out to frame five. I'm gonna hit F6. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit F6, <laughs> even though I'm using Flash CS4. I think uh, there's still plenty of reason to go with uh, using a, a classic tween or what in the previous versions of Flash was just called a motion tween. So if you're using Flash CS3 to do this, you're going to want to go to create motion tween if you're using Flash CS4 or higher. Um, in this case, I think it's just fine to go to create a classic tween. I think it's a little bit easier. And uh, select the first frame. Click on uh, style alpha. So we'll just have this kind of fade in like so. And what we want to do is make sure that this doesn't just kind of loop infinitely, which is what it would do if you just stayed over top the um, mold over frame. And we just, uh, on that fifth frame there, we want to write a stop action. Okay, so it's going to stop right there. And I did hit F7 to hotkey a blank keyframe right there. And of course, there's all sorts of other things you could do too. You could. Um, you could scale it or stretch it in. So uh, holding down, well, if you press Q, that's your hotkey for this. Or you could go over here to the free transform tool and you could uh, squeeze this together ever so slightly. So that way when it does something like that, um, yeah, let's leave it like that. Um, although if you are gonna get that fancy, you might also wanna go over here to your easing and then just ease it out. So it kinda smooths out a bit toward the end. Uh, it's, you can see that a little bit more if you put in a few more frames. So I'm going to select both layers here and hit F5. Okay, that's going to add in two more frames. If I do it again, that'll add in two more frames. And F5 doesn't always add in two more frames. It adds in however many frames you have selected right here. Um, or if you just had one, it will add in one frame. Okay, so see how smooth that is when it comes in. Uh, now, once again, this is something that we probably should have set up um, when we were originally building the menu because now if I want to have this occur for all three of the menus um, I do need to go and, and copy this out and paste it in place for the other ones but that's not that hard since we only have three of them um, once again how is that happening I thought I already corrected that I don't get it I don't get it anyway I'm gonna paste that in I'm curious now if that is on that frame hmm. very very 